Hello everybody, my name is Dan, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now today we have a slightly different style of video today. I'm going to be going through, as the title said, how much money my Origins of Olympus videos made for me. So on YouTube, how revenue works, how people made money is something that isn't really spoken about too much. A lot of people don't still understand how money's made on YouTube, how it all works, and uh, I know in recent times, more and more people have started doing YouTube in the hopes of making a lot of money because there have been a lot of people going around showing how much they've made, and there's a bit of a misconception of how people have made money. So I'm going to go over, because Origins of Olympus is one of my most popular series on the channel, I will be doing one of these for my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series as well, because I feel like it's just interesting to talk about, so if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss it. So we're going to be jumping in, showing you the revenue for each of the videos. So I did nine videos. As you've seen, I've done some reaction videos as well. I won't be going over them because they're a different style of video and they don't count towards the point I'm making today. We're going to go through each video one by one. I'm going to show you the analytics. We're just going to go over everything. So yeah, let's jump straight in. So the first episode we have is my episode one. Since it published, it had 22,786 views, 1.6 hours of watch time, and it made me an estimated £47.39, and pence, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So if we go into the revenue, you'll see that here I have a playback CPM of £4.31 and an RPM of £2.08. So what these numbers mean is how much YouTube will pay you for every thousand monetized views on a video. So not just normal views. So a lot of people see a viral video and they think, oh, wow that must mean that it, they use $5 as like a base CPM, which is kind of like the best way to do it. But people see a video, it's got a million views, and they do a million divided by a thousand times five, and then they think, wow, they made so much money. But that's not always the case, because if the video doesn't have a million monetized views, then those views aren't counted towards the final revenue. Plus, there's different factors, like what category of content you make. So if you're making educational or finance, there's a finance TikTok going about at the moment, which the guy shows how much money he's earning for 300k views a day, and it's ridiculous, and people don't understand that that is just based on finance content, because advertisers are more willing to put more money into the finance sector rather than the average gaming video. This is why everyone's average CPM is about four five pound. Um, five dollars is kind of the average baseline for gaming that everyone goes off. But yeah, so in this video, you'll see here that my ad types... Uh, <laughs> They're all the same on each video, to be honest. But my estimated ad revenue is £46.71, and my YouTube premium revenue is 69 p Now, I don't benefit too much from the YouTube premium, uh, obviously because my channel isn't as big as a lot of other people, but I know a lot of channels do actually get quite a significant amount of YouTube premium revenue. It's pretty interesting to see. But yeah, so the first episode got 22,000 views, almost 23,000 and it made me £47.39. So that was published in the 13th of June, 2019, and now it's the 31st of October when I'm doing this. So let's see what I made in the past month. So in the past month, it got 133 views. So it's still siphoning views every month. It's still getting a pretty decent amount of views every month. And it made me 46 pence in the last 28 days, which is not that bad, to be honest with you. Considering it came out over a year and a half ago now, and it's still making about 46 pence every 28 days that's not too bad so let's move on to episode two this one had richie in it 13.6 k views and we made 27 pound 61 so half the amount of views half the amount of revenue 1.6 hours watch time though so we had the same amount of watch time hours on this video since it was uploaded as you can see here as we did on this video which is pretty crazy actually so we made £26.61, CPM 437, so a little lower, and the RPM was around the same. Same estimated ad revenue and YouTube premium revenue, we made slightly less, but almost about the same as the other video, which is quite interesting, actually. And then if we check the past 28 days, past 28 days, it made about 11 pence. So that's not too bad. In the last 11 days, it had 83 views. So people are still watching that whole series. Origins of Olympus is obviously a massive series on YouTube, so people are still watching it. And it's pretty cool to see. Then we have 
my episode three. Now you'll see this video since lifetime, my episode two got 13,600 views. This one had 9.9 thousand. And the revenue difference isn't really that much different. It's about £10 less, but it didn't get like half the views. It had like two thirds of the views, but it still made only £10 less, which is pretty good. It netted me 112 subscribers too. And the watch time's a little bit lower on this. Obviously, the more episodes you do in a series, the less people are going to stay invested. They're going to stay watching the video. So we'll move on to episode four. Now this got 10.3 thousand views 22 pound in revenue that's pretty good that's pretty good for this video the cpm was lower on this one as well so i don't really the rpm was slightly higher the but yeah I, i'm not really sure how to explain why this one earned a bit more than the others even though the views were less in about the same level and the cpm was lower as well okay so my episode four made me in total 22 pound 42 which is pretty good 40 pence YouTube premium, 22 pound in normal ad rev. Episode five is where the views started. So this one's an interesting one here, if you see. So this video overall had 10.3K views. This video had 7.3, but it earned more money. So we'll jump into the revenue section and we'll see why. This playback CPM was seven pound and six. So that means that per thousand monetized views, I was paid more on this video throughout its lifetime. And the RPM is £3.39, so a pound thirty higher than my other videos so far, which is crazy. It's pretty interesting to see that that is the case here. Uh, if we looked at the past 28 days, my CPM is actually up on this again, so £8.44 in the past 28 days. But obviously, the video hasn't had that many views, 33 views, so it's made 7 pence. But if th this video was still getting a 1,000 views per video, it'd be earning a still a significant amount of revenue but you can see that the cpm plays a big part in how much money you make and it fluctuates on every single video like you saw over the lifetime the average has been about seven pound but past 28 days is eight pounds so you'll see here this gives you like a little breakdown of how much the cpm was on specific days so when i released the video 16 pound 50 which is pretty high cpm then on the sit for feb 25 pound and then on the 29th of June, 2020, it was £79. £79 CPM. Now, I don't know if this is budded on YouTube, but if it isn't, that's pretty <laughs> pretty amazing. If a 1,000 people watched it, if like 10,000 people watched it, that's a big chunk of revenue there. £79 playback CPM. And it fluctuates. There may, be, there may have been a reason for this. There may have been like a special event that adver or advertisers just put more money in. I'm not sure. I can't explain the reason why the CPM was so high on that day, but uh, but it was. So this video in me, £24.62. Next, 6.7K views, £17.88. So this video was my episode six, and it made me £17.88, which is pretty cool. The CPM, again, £5.37. It's fluctuate in the 13th of May. Uh, 2020, it, made, it was on £33 CPM and then £39. So it peaked around 33 to 39 for my playback CPM for this video. Then we have a 9.3k view. So this video, 6.7, £17. This video, 9.3, £19.89. So this had 2,000 more views, 3,000 more views actually, and it only made £2 more. So it goes to show... That because the CPM was lower, you make a lot less. Well, not a lot less money, but the CPM is lower, so you're going to make less money. And that's basically what people don't really understand on YouTube. They see the these that TikTok in particular. Um, I I can't remember what uh, who it was who made it, but he, it just goes to show that you don't necessarily make the mega bucks that people think you do because just because you do YouTube and you get a decent amount of views. It takes a lot of, one, luck, two, advertisers wanting to spend money, and three, what it really does depend on what category you upload into. So if you consistently do finance videos, you'll consistently make, as long as you get in the views, you'll make a decent chunk of money, whereas gaming is a lot harder to make that sort of money unless you're pulling in millions of views per video. So it, it does really make a difference. My... Second to last video, 
7.1k views, £14.86 in revenue. My CPM, so you can see my CPM is starting to slip off in these, these final videos. £3.59 £3 for my CPM, £14.86 overall. Um, but my YouTube premium revenue for these past few videos is staying roughly the same too, which isn't too bad actually. The fact that it's staying somewhat in, in that range uh, it's pretty good. It means that the people who have premium who are watching my videos are consistently coming back. That's basically what that shows to me. Uh, I can I can tell from that that there's people, so you can see, uh, I don't know if it's how the revenue is decided for YouTube premium, um, but you can see 40 pence for this one, 24 pence for this one, and then I believe 24 pence, 35 pence, and then 24 pence. So for me, I can sort of make the assumption that the people who have YouTube Premium are coming back to watch all of these videos. <laughs> That's the only assumption I can make. And then finally, £6.49 for a 3.3k video, which isn't bad. So if you uploaded 30 videos a month and they all got 3,000 views per video, you'd be making about £180 if they made £6.49. But you'll see that the, the CPM fluctuates all the time. The amount of views fluctuates all the time, especially in long drawn out series, because the more time that goes on the less people are watching and you can see on this video I only made 11 pence in uh, YouTube premium revenue um, but yeah so that's pretty much it since lifetime if we look at the last 28 days for this video playback CPM is up to £6.60 the RPM is down to £1.90 and we made an estimated 4 pence from this video so you can see how much it fluctuates and you do, you do get a lot of, of longevity views um, so over time, obviously, people are still finding your older content and watching your older content, and you still get like trickle down revenue from that. So you'll notice that uh, if you do YouTube yourself, you'll notice your backlog of videos will still get uh, still get a fair few views, as you've seen in this, like the past 28 days. Some of the videos have had over 100 views still. You'll see a lot of this in my Udia GX stuff that I will go over uh, in another video, in a separate video, because there's no need for me to do it in this one. Um, but yeah, it's really it's really interesting to go in depth to explain how YouTube works a bit more in terms of revenue and uh, how CPMs can fluctuate, how much money you can actually earn doing YouTube. If you do want to do this full time and pursue it full time, you just need to get some information on how it all works, what best things you can do to monetize outside of your uh, channel and YouTube because you don't want to just have one revenue source because that way it means that if you only have one revenue source you kind of, if YouTube turns around tomorrow and goes, we're not monetizing gaming content anymore, and you're just doing gaming content as your full-time job, you're a bit stuck in the mud there. <laughs> That's pretty much it, me going over my analytics. If you enjoyed this uh, and you want to see more stuff like this, then be sure to comment below, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and uh, left a comment just, you know, if you enjoyed the video as well. If you want me to go deeper into my other analytics in terms of like watch time views and, and just maybe do some more informative videos on that, then just be sure to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, so if you're interested in coming over and watching the stream, link is in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.